Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming here to talk about the League of Legends MSI tournament slate for May 12th. Um, as you guys know, if you guys have been playing the last couple of days, it starts at 4 a.m. And I think DK now made it a five game slate. Um, so I think that's exciting. So, yeah, let's dive in and talk about um, each game's pr prediction that I think will happen based on my eye test the last couple of days. And then also based on each team's uh, strengths and weaknesses. And then um, I will kind of talk about the kill upside. So it's going to be a pretty short video because it's going to be similar to the last one that I made, um, just based on each team's strengths and weaknesses that I talked about a little bit more in depth. Um, in that video. So if you guys have any questions on that particular topic of interest, you can go back to my last video where I talk about each team's uh, strengths and weaknesses. But for this video, I'm going to summarize that a little bit and then kind of make it a little more uh, brief and summarized uh, analysis and then, and then the predictions. All right, so the first matchup is EG versus Order. Um, Really, Team Order has been probably one of the worst teams, um, in my opinion, in the tournament. I know they almost uh, beat, uh, you know, G2 um, in the early game in that, in that matchup, I think two days ago. Um, they just had a kill lead and all, but G2 kind of outplayed them for the rest of the game. Um, I think Team Order's uh, macro object, objective um, play style or the the skill level is not very high um i do think eg and g2 should take care of business here in my opinion um but if you think order can pull off an upset um i would definitely prefer them pulling off of an upset over eg um but eg has looked a little um iffy at times um in certain situations especially around um like early mid game in my opinion especially in the bottom lane so i mean that's probably one of the upsets that i would take but um but in dfs i think eg and g2 are in good spots here against team order who also likes to play somewhat bloody so i think they have a decent kill upside in those two matchups in that group and then the next matchup is PSG Talon, who's been very disappointing against Istanbul Wildcats. I actually like Istanbul Wildcats here as an upset pick. Um, I know um, PSG Talon came in as a pretty big favorite, but I just do not see a good synergy um, in the mid, uh, mid laner uh, in Bay, I believe, and then the juggler. <laughs> Sorry about the coughing, but... Uh, the bottom lane is pretty good. I think Unified as Kai Wing are pretty good, but the top half of the map for PSG is, has not been very impressive. Um, whereas Istanbul Wildcats, uh, they have shown me that um, they have the upside that it takes uh, for, a, for an underdog team to be able to upset a you know, superior team skill-wise. So I'll definitely go with Istanbul Wildcats just based on the recent form that I've seen out of these two teams. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty low kill upside matchup, though, in my opinion. Um, both teams like to plan to play a little bit on the slower side. So I would definitely, um, I would not focus this game that much. Um, but I think as an upset pick, I, I would definitely go with Istanbul Wildcats. RNG versus Red Cannons. Um, RNG, as you guys may already know, I mean, they <clears throat> are from China. And they are playing in their gaming house in China, whereas everybody else is playing in Korea, where the actual in-person tournament is happening, because I think RNG has some COVID issues and protocol issues that prevent would have prevented them from being able to, um, you know, make it in this tournament, but also like with Asian games occurring, you know, shortly between here and there, so... That was the reason why RNG got in, got the exception to be able to play it in their gaming house, and which has like really translated into a lot of uh, benefits uh, for RNG, being able to play you know without any crowd or anything like that, without cameras or mask or whatever the case is, really. So I think RNG has a lot of those um, going for them, and they should be able to beat Red Cannons and. 
Red Cannons coming from CB Lowell. I mean, I think they they tend to play more aggressive on the more on the more aggressive side. Um, so I think this is definitely one of the games to target, unlike the three matches previous uh preceding to that matchup. So I would definitely target RNG here today on this slate. Um, and then on the other side, flip side, if you think Red Cannons can pull this off, which I believe like maybe one out of the 10 matchups they play against each other. Maybe Red Cannons can do that. Um, I think Red Cannons, they would have to gain an early game advantage to be able to pull this off. Kind of like how Team Order um, maybe ha- may have shown against G2 in- on that first day. Um, I think RNG also kind of struggled a little bit against PSG Talon at times yesterday. So that tells me that Red Cannons have a chance, but unlikely. So if you are playing like 20, 30 lineups, then yeah, I mean, I'd definitely play red cannons in a few of those uh, lineups. But I fully expect RNG to win. And then Saigon Buffalo, <laughs> they are the youngest team in this tournament. And they are the most bloody team, in my opinion, in terms of, you know, the level of aggression and the play style. So and then same for Team Aze. I mean, you saw Team Aze uh, struggle a bit here today against the uh, or yesterday against T1. So I definitely think this is this has the potential to turn into a kill fiesta. Kill upside is tremendous in this matchup. So I would definitely. I think both teams will probably think that they have a chance against against the other team here, respectively. So I will definitely target these two matchups that I just talked about: the RNG Red Cannons and then Saigon Buffalo and Team Aze. Or they call it Team Ace, but on it's spelled with Z. So anyway, um, so yeah, those two matchups, and then yeah, I'm in terms of the actual match prediction, I'm gonna have to favor Saigon Buffalo, um, just because they sh- have shown me that they can kind of compete against the superior team skill and at the on the skill level, um, they're not scared to engage, and sometimes you need to have that aggression in a tournament like this. Saigon Buffalo is more, they, they tend to play more aggressively than Team Aze. And then it looks like skill wise, they're about the same. So <clears throat> I would have to favor Saigon Buffalo in this matchup. But Team Aze is definitely in play for GPP purposes. And then last matchup of the day is the T1 versus Destination Focus Me. Um, DFM has not looked that great, except for the first day. Even in, you know, on the first day, they haven't they didn't really show me that much um i know they play against bad teams so i just feel like t1 is gonna shit on them and dfm tends to play on the slower side so i think t1's kill upside is not as great as the previous two days where they play against saigon buffalo and then team Aze. so i would definitely um kind of maybe fade t1 today unless you're playing cash um, I do think T1 is on a roll that they they should win this matchup, but DFM uh, likes to play more of a, like a risk free um, play style. So I will definitely go with um, other matchups here that have a more kill upside today, just like the RNG Red Cannons and then Saigon Buffalo and Team Aze matchup. So those are the two matchups that that I would to- totally target um, in terms of kill upside. And then in terms of the match predictions, like I said, I mean, T1 should definitely win. G2 should probably most likely win. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm picking an upset with IW over PSG. Um, And then for a deep shot, deep, deep shot, I would definitely consider Red Cannons over RNG. But, you know, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I think that's the most important thing on a five game slate and a best of one series to kind of measure the kill upside and then play either side of those matchups in GPP settings. So I would definitely target those two games. But if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I can be reached on Twitter, YouTube, Discord. Um, But, you know, at True DFS, we have the Discord channel where we talk about, you know, um, League of Legends and other sports. So if you want to check that out join us and if you please like the video uh please hit the like button below and then subscribe to our channel thanks bye good luck everybody